Whoa. That is tribal. Hello! Welcome back to What's the Safe Word? I'm Em. And I'm Bolt. And today we're going to talk about rope. Oh, no. It's another ties day. <laughs> I've been anticipating it. Slash dreading it because some of these ties are difficult. Jesus. This is called a tristaloin or trist tristaline. Trist Tristellian. Tristellian. You can call it whatever you want, but it, it it's spelled kind of weird, and I'm not sure what... It's probably Celtic in some way. Anyway, we're going to do this not... Uh, it's going to be another rope harness. This one's not really about bondage or, like, restriction. It's more of a visual, aesthetically pleasing, nice little bar knot that you can wear out to the bar. Yeah. Yeah. What do you need besides, well, I mean, therapy for those years and years of Catholic school and, uh... No. <laughs> I recommend just nice nylon rope. Uh, you need about 10 to 15 feet, depending on the person and how big they are. I would start out with 15, and then as you're adjusting the rope from there, you can actually cut off or adjust the rope really easily once you're in the knot. Of course, you'll need someone to put or test the bondage tie on, and then you'll need someone to help you tie it up and back because it is yeah, very impossible unless you have like spider arms. Beyond that, it's a very simple knot. We'll go ahead and cut to the tie right here. So for this knot, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a nice short piece of rope. This is obviously not gonna go around Bolt because he's a much bigger uh, person than what this two foot demo is gonna be. But for the triscaline, shh, quiet you. <laughs> for the triscaline knot, you're gonna find the middle of the rope, the bite, and you're gonna wrap the rope in on itself. Just like that. Bring them together, and in a clockwise fashion, you're going to make a small loop, just like that. Taking our other two little bites that we've created, we're gonna make, again, clockwise, a little loop in on itself. It's really important with this knot that you do it on a flat surface to begin with, otherwise you're gonna have rope everywhere, and it's gonna get really confusing very quickly. And as you can see, it's already just a spiral, crazy mess. Taking our ends that we've created, we'll tell end one, end two, and end three, we're gonna loop through these circles that we've made, these spirals, one at a time. Don't pull too tight yet though. So there's one, going through two, and then the third one. It's starting to look like our little knot, but we just need to tighten and adjust our ends till the mess turns into something somewhat pretty. And no, I'm not talking about us after a long night of drinking. Hey. We have our knot, it's nice, it's finished, it's tight. If you need to adjust anything, you can actually just loop through and pull. Um, but once you have it on your model, you can adjust from there, cut off any excess rope you don't need. And that's really about it. Now let's go tie Bolt up. Ah! Hello, uh, welcome back, <laughs> welcome back. So, yeah. we've got our tie. Not too difficult. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> and so for our tie, we've got two, the two ends that actually end in bites or loops um, are gonna be our shortest ends here, you can see. So we've got one here, one there, and then this really long end is the one with the ends on it. And I've put a little tape on it so you guys can see it as we're tying this. You choose left or right shoulder, but we're gonna put the knot on right here. Have your model, your hands, your helper, whatever you wanna call them, hold that knot right there. Good. And we're gonna wrap the other side here. Once we're in back here, we've got the two smaller ends right here, and our long one of each of these ends is gonna go through our loops here. Top one, and we're just gonna pull back the bottom one. Again, pulling back. We're gonna pull those as tight as we can, but not too tight. How you feeling? That's great. Good. We're actually going to now go through this second loop that the rope has not gone through yet. So for this guy. So now this, this rope's going through both this loop and that loop, and doing the same with the opposite side. Whichever side that you end the end on, you're actually going to start looping around that rope. So you're making a little coil that ends nice and flat. It gives you something that looks nice. It looks like you've actually thought about it. And we're gonna pull through that end doing the same thing with this guy. You can choose to, to coil it up this way or you can coil it back on yourself here. I'm gonna go ahead and coil it back on ourselves here because we have so much rope left over. If they're nice and tight, you just pull, you can tie it through, and then tuck it in again like that. It 
sits nice, hugs his chest really nicely, brings the pecs up. Asymmetrical. Very, yeah. For those that don't like the, the super symmetrical looks, this works really well. It's nice and comfortable. And if the rope is nice, and this is a nylon, like we said, nice and soft nylon, it feels good too. Very regal. Very regal. Regal. You can also, you could double up the rope on itself to cause an even bigger knot. But for this gauge rope being a quarter inch, it looks really nice. It's thick enough that it kind of, it just looks good in that little knot. Super easy, super simple. If you guys have any questions, let us know below. But otherwise, this has been Ty's Day, a nice asymmetrical harness. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Let us know what you guys want to see Ty next time on Ty's Day, and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye. Like vagina, actually. <laughs> vagina face, Ty? Maybe, maybe Is that not. what we're doing maybe this week? Not. Okay, cool. That's not what it's called. No.